Hi everyone, Ted from LTM Simply. Uh, today I'm gonna discuss uh, with you guys why I decided to uh, opt out from my target data fund. Um, looking at the data and the past year, uh, some asset allocations are underperforming. But for individuals that are in the target data fund, the system is created based on your age and the day when you are going to retire the system is continually continuing to uh, buy uh, certain assets and move certain assets. But when it's uh, situations like this year that we're having a very uh, factual market and a lot of things going with the economy, the target data fund, it's set up in the long run and doesn't work on the year to year basis. So when it's opportunities to be made, especially Currently, looking at some of the tech industry and the asset class and the tech and the large cap companies are underperforming. So it will be a great idea to set up your future asset allocation and focus in, in those areas so that way you are purchasing more things uh, on sale at a discount of 20. Some, some of them are up to 30%. So... Basically, unless you request these changes with your uh, representative at the company or with uh, you sitting around with a financial advisor to guide you, most of the time, no one is going to get involved or ask you how to manage your money. As we all know, we work hard to make our money. So that's why you're going to make sure that everything when it comes to our future finances is being allocated and is working for you in the long run. So with that being said, I truly uh, recommend for you guys to check with your representative or uh, with a financial advisor and ask them uh, the reasons why they think you should stay on the target data fund if you are or if you should you know, opt out and change your asset allocations. And also remember, they are getting paid even if you do not make any changes. So why are they going to bother and uh, concentrate on making the changes for you when they're already getting paid? Most of the, um, in most of the cases, they're getting paid between half a percent and in some other cases that I see in this up to 1%. So with that being said, if you have somewhere around $100,000, half a percent is $500 per year and 1%, you're talking $1,000 per year and you're not getting any service out of it. So use your, um, your future allocations, use it for the gains that is going to benefit you and your family in the long run. Till next time.